actually, how should I do it this time? I don't know. <laughs> like, hey guys, it's your girl. The Japanese AV industry world is still a place filled with many questions. And that becomes even more complicated when somebody not from Japan joins the mix. So today I'm going to ask some questions to the one of America's very own Japanese AV industry stars, June Lovejoy. Introduce yourself, June. Hi. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> after that wonderful introduction. No. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is June Lovejoy. Um, I'm American, just like Sydney. And I work in the Japanese AV industry and it's nice to meet you. It's, and it's nice to meet you. Yeah. But before we get into this video, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Zen Market. All the items talked about in this video are available on Zen Market. June's AVs, as well as the other items mentioned in this video. Zen Market is a website that offers you the ability to buy anything you like from Japan. It has worldwide shipping and has customer support in over 10 native languages. It has a low flat fee of 300 yen per item and offers multiple payment options. You can bid on Japan Yahoo listings and buy from exclusive Japanese retailers. You can also submit cool photos of the items you've purchased to win free account credit. They also give cash back on Wednesday and Thursdays, and so that's kind of a steal. So go on over to the links in the description to check it out. Especially if you're interested in buying any of the items mentioned in the video, because once again, they are all there. Be sure to check out any of the other items I offer on my page as well, just in case you feel like walking on the wild side today. Thank you again to Zen Market, and back to the video. So where are you from? Obviously you just said you're from America, yeah. <laughs> but where from in America? So it's a running joke that I'm not American, but I was born in Florida and then moved once every year. And my parents are German, so I have like this terrible speaking style oh. that I wasn't aware of. Okay, initially, I'm not gonna lie, like when I first heard you talking, and I'm like, where is she from? Because initially when you said America, I'm like, Oh, 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 oh. So I, I have this video idea that I really want to do where I'm like hooked up to a lie detector test that shocks yeah. me and I'm asked like historical questions about Europe. Yeah. And it's like, is June Lovejoy European? <laughs> uh, please look forward to that. Yes, I uh, <laughs> count the hours. Thank you. <laughs> but it said in a video you were from California. Is yeah. that the last place you were it's, in before? Exactly. Oh, okay. So I can't, like in regular interviews, I'm like, I moved every year. If I say that to like a Japanese interviewer, they're like, I don't understand that yeah. very well. But yeah, the last place I lived was California. So. Okay, so what, what are the states that you lived in then? I've lived, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> People are gonna find my information. Ah. <laughs> uh, Florida, Tennessee, Georgia, Missouri, uh, Arkansas, Washington, California, Hawaii. Uh, I think that's about it. Not, Jesus not, Christ. Not too many. That's a lot. <laughs> Like, how old are you? You're I'm about... 25. Okay, so I think so we're similar really, age. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, I'm a year older. Wow. Oh my oh god, oh Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> then I gotta ask, what got you, like, what, yeah. what got you into anime? Uh, well, probably similar, maybe, like, four kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it's like a danger zone, but <laughs> it's all we had. Yeah. So, again, like, One Piece, uh, Pokemon, Hamtaro, like, everything. Like, so you just grew up watching of it, like, on the TV? Yeah, yeah. Toonami, all of that. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Nice. All right. So then I'm just going to ask you straight up, like, what got you into the Japanese AV industry? Uh, so originally I worked for like a really corrupt, um, like normal company, normal company, mm -hmm. but very corrupt um, for about two and a half years. And it's a huge company. I was like, I have made it. This is going to be the best time of my life. But it was so awful. And like every day I went home crying. I was like, what am I doing with my life? And I finally decided that like, I was told by a Japanese friend that June, all Japanese companies are corrupt. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, if they're all corrupt, then I want to fuck. <laughs> well, I'm like, if, okay, then like JV, if that's corrupt, I want to fuck and do something nice <laughs> for a change. Yeah. Very like animalistic I, like, desire, but I just thought if all of them are bad, I might as well do something good while I'm getting fucked by my boss. <laughs> like, <laughs> everyone now, I, I don't know if I'm under the curse, I'm sorry. No, you're, I, you're completely okay. okay. <laughs> But that, that's the, the starting idea for why I went into the uh, industry. Okay, how long have you been in the industry? Well, oh, I debuted last year in January. Oh, so gee, I'm so fairly new. Fairly new. Oh but my I, god. In the pandemic, so I can't do much. So. Yeah. Okay. So then, how long have you lived in Japan then? About four or five years. Okay, so right after, like, did you go to university and then oh, you yeah, just I came here? To, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. And then you just like wanted to move. Why? Why did you want to move to Japan initially then? I mean, from ever since I was a kid, I loved Japan, mm -hmm. and I always wanted to live there. But I, 
when I graduated university, I was like, oh, then I'll do a normal job. And then when I retire, I'll move to Japan. And I was like, oh, that's kind of backwards. Like, I want to, move. my goal is to live in Japan, so I should just do it now. Yeah. And that's how I ended up here. Okay. So, how did you learn Japanese? Did you study it in like university or? No, but I worked at like a soba restaurant in, in America. Oh, like making tempura. Like, ah, my arm. But, <laughs> but no one spoke English. Re okay. But it was a bunch of dudes. So when I arrived in Japan, I was like, Ore wa June, pretty much. So yeah, wow. <laughs> my speaking style was very masculine. And then I joined that corrupt company. And mm -hmm. they're very strict. And I had to give like presentations in like formal Japanese. So I was like pretty much being thrown in the deep end. Okay. So you literally never just like went to classes or anything. You just like know it really I, well. Oh, I went to a few classes. Okay. But uh, have you ever been to a Japanese university class? It's like a bunch of like... No. Okay. <laughs> I know like... Maybe people think I'm a weeb, but like worse, like just like reading anime and like showing the teacher their hentai and like, can you translate oh this hentai God. for me? And I was like, get me the fuck out of here. I'm going to a soba restaurant yeah. right now. So I thought I could make money while studying would be better. Yeah, yeah. true. Okay. Yeah, true. Yeah. So how much then, like, did you ever take a JLPT level? No, or? I think that's a scam. Oh, really? Yeah, I think it's a super <laughs> scam. <laughs> No, no company I've ever applied for is, well, I'll go set aside JAV. Yeah. No company I've ever applied for is like, what's your JLPT level? Really? No! Even in AV, they're just like, what's your JLPT level? No, they're, okay. they're like, is that an STD? Like, what? what? <laughs> like, no, they don't even know what that is. I, th I think it's a huge scam. Okay. Yeah. So then have you always had an interest then in the AV industry? Not really. I like, uh, like erotic manga, mm. way more yeah. than porn. Like porn is fun, but I'd, I'd rather buy like a book of sexy photos than watching people fuck. Yeah. But I like fucking, so you can watch mine, but <laughs> I don't really want to watch yours. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like erotic manga the most. Okay. Yeah, yeah same. Yeah. I get it. You get it. I, I get it. I saw, I saw your <laughs> controversial videos, but I know. I know you get it. The main question as well is like, when I first saw you, especially mm. on Twitter, Oh. oh <laughs> what like, as a Westerner, yeah. what is it like in the Japanese AV industry? Good or bad or both? What? I, anyway, I think like is there, there's obviously good and bad. Mm -hmm. um, which do you like? What's the good and what's the bad then? I'll start with the bad, just so we can end on a positive note. I think because it's so uncommon for like a Japanese speaking. Like sometimes porn stars come from other countries and film here, but they can't speak Japanese, so. They can't make Japanese fans very easily, mm -hmm. but because I speak Japanese and English, I become like the token white person for everyone. And when I get interviewed, they're like, "How do I get an American girlfriend?" And I'm like, "I don't, I don't know. How do I get an American girlfriend? Like, how do, what do white girls like?" And I'm like, "I don't know. I like body hair." And then like all white girls Love like body no. hair. So, <laughs> so I become like the standard for all like. I become like the speaking head for everyone and it makes me really uncomfortable because I'm like, America's a huge ass com country, please don't put us all in one box. Yeah. Um, that's probably the, the thing I like, uh, I dislike the most. And also like, I get a lot of weird comments that are like, foreigner, not, not a lot, but like, go home foreigner, you're dirtying up our industry. And I'm like, people eat poop on camera! Yeah. I'm not doing anything! <laughs> I'm not adding anything that's not already there. I don't eat poop by the way. Yeah. But <laughs> like, <laughs> good things, uh, I have a lot of people who are like, uh, how do I say? What's the best thing I like? Um, I like that a lot of Japanese people, it's like my fans, they're like, I've never even spoken to like a white person before, or like a foreigner in general, and they're like, I have all these complexes that like maybe I can never make friends with foreigners, and like maybe I would never get a foreign girlfriend, or I'm not appealing to other foreign women, and being able to like see that you like uh, working with Japanese men kind of like makes me feel a little bit better about myself and also Japanese women as well because I love women too. Uh, I have a lot of female fans too who say the same thing. They're like, oh, okay, so we're not like undesirable and it's not weird. So, yeah. I'm like, don't put me on a pedestal, but okay, <laughs> I guess I'll take it. Like, yeah. Uh, I get you. Yeah, okay. Has there been like ever like any like experiences mm -hmm. that have been like life changing in the Japanese AV industry or maybe sort of like maybe in a good or bad way that made you open mm -hmm. your eyes or maybe think differently from what you initially thought the Japanese AV industry was? I, I did go in thinking that everyone was like a Yakuza member because like I didn't know anything. I was like, yeah, I thought it was be, like corrupt when I like went into my first interview. Like I had like a long sleeve shirt on and I was like, I bet that guy has so many tats and he <laughs> probably does some dirty stuff. And he's like, this is normal like old dude who's like, 
hi, welcome to the company. Like it was a totally normal interview. So I was shocked about that. And I also do like an interview series on my own YouTube channel, interviewing mm -hmm. like yeah. a bunch of Japanese people and just hearing them just talk normally and kind of like demystifying the industry for me, it was kind of um, reassuring. Yeah. <laughs> like, because a lot of times people are like, oh, people who do porn, like they're all being forced against their will. And it's not the case. Like we're just a bunch of perverts, like fucking on camera. Don't put too much <laughs> into it. Like as far as like, life changing i just feel really relaxed and like finally like at home which is weird cuz i do porn i'm not trying to glorify it but it's it's just a bunch of like weirdos and a lot of people are like queer or like some like there's a lot some people who are just i don't know like have really interesting backstories and it's not all like roses and everything mm -hmm. and being able to work with those people and be close and become close to those kind of people just makes me feel like I don't like life is worth living not trying to get like super deep no but. i totally get it i oh. feel like it's quite unfortunate that the porn industry can be stigmatized for mm. females considering like a lot of women do find like comfort in a home in it I definitely, and, yeah. and it's like there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing like you know if you're happy in a place doing what you do right. like by god fucking do it I'm like gonna, i'm gonna fucking yeah, do it dude, fucking <laughs> go girl i'm doing all of it <laughs> Then like going into like sort of like what you said previously, like queer people mm -hmm. you, on your Twitter, it says that you mm -hmm. are queer as well. Yeah, I'm the, queer. What is um what is it like in that like in the AV industry, especially as a mm -hmm. queer person having sex with like the gender that you mm -hmm. are not most attracted to? All right. Or like what what is it like as a queer person in the Japanese AV industry? Again, like I feel more relaxed because I can actually have sex with women more often than I could not in the porn industry, and I get paid for it now. So. And? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I, I like men too, of course, but I, I, since I was young, I've liked women more. Okay. Um, no one is, I mean, because we're in the we're in the business of like selling uh, lesbian films or gay films, so no one's like discriminatory, and it's really nice. Like no yeah. one's like no one gives a shit to be quite honest. If you're like, hey, are you are you bi? Are you queer? Whatever, no one asks, and then no one's really surprised. And we have a lot of like new half, like transgender actresses as well. Is there any type of genre you'd like to explore in the AV industry world? I've already done, I've only done one, okay. but it was like a life, live action of an erotic manga. Oh! Yeah, I know, it's my, it's my most, well, best selling. Really? Which so. one is it? Is it the one where you're an English teacher or a teacher or in a brothel or? Oh uh, no, it's one where I get fucked by a ghost. Like there is no actor. I'm doing it all by myself. Are you shitting me? It's my <laughs> best selling thing. It was number one on the charts forever. I'm genuinely curious. What yeah, is the title really, of this one? Watch it. Jikobuke, no, what is it? Ryugakuse ex Jikobuke or something. <laughs> And I think you can actually read the like the English version on Fuku. I don't know. I don't have a VPN, so I can't check. Okay. But it's a very famous erotic manga. It's very very good. So there's just literally there's no like invisible guy fucking you. I'm I'm just I'm acting like I'm being literally fucked. Literally just like you, <laughs> just like oh this dick in me, this plasma <laughs> dick. It's so good. In the reviews, they're like I'm mad because I know she's just pretending the entire time. But by God, is this not hot? Like. <laughs> Oh my god. It was really fun. It took 24 hours to film though because every film every scene was shot twice. So like there's a scene where like my like the ghost is like groping my titties and obviously there's nothing there. Yeah. But they, we took another shot where we used like a leaf blower and like look and like a bunch of different leaf blowers to where it looked like a hand. It oh looks really realistic. I can you can yeah. I'm, I'm Okay, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, like, I want to know. I didn't like a leaf blower. A blower can like make it look like somebody's groping your tits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh. It took 24 hours, but yeah. how? Like, how did you do that for 24 hours? I mean, most shots take over 12 hours anyway. So 24 hours. I mean, I, I again, that's a genre that I want to do the most mm -hmm. because I like erotic manga. Yeah. So getting the script, I was like, holy shit! I'll do anything to make sure that this is this goes well. So by the time we hit like the I don't know 18 hour mark, I was like. By God. <laughs> Didn't, doesn't that sound really tiring? I couldn't imagine doing anything for 24 really? hours. Nonetheless, oh. making like a, a porn. porn. <laughs> yeah. That, like, you must have like a lot of like stamina. I used to be a rugby uh, player for four, Jesus. eight years. Like, that would do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck. So, like, yeah. Or you must be like, are you like just really like just exercise? What is that? <laughs> I don't know. What? I don't know. It's like, are you exercising me? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, I'm really uh, strong with my legs because I used to be a flanker in, uh, when I played rugby in okay. college and high school. Um, but as people on the internet will tell you, I am fat, but I'm very muscular. You just can't see it because I'm chubby as fuck. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you don't know. It's, it's perfection. It's Your okay. body's perfect. I do not care. I, I can pound forever and I have a lot of stamina. That's all oh that matters. God. So. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Then, like, <laughs> then I gotta ask, like, if you, since you like uh, Japanese ecchi manga so much, yeah. then what do you, what's your, like, what's your favorite title, if you had to say? Ah, oh, what's the, I don't know the exact, oh shit, can I email it to you? Like, yeah, of there's course. this one where like, I think it's a, it is, it's like Russian bride, Inaka, like she, there's this Russian chick and she can't speak Japanese very well, but she marries this Japanese guy who like has business trips a lot, but they mm. live with like his younger brother or something. Oof. And I like the trope where it's like, oh, taking a bath together and kissing is Japanese culture. And she's like an idiot. I know what she, yeah, I know. I love that she's like a, uh, yeah. She's, she's like initially like a transfer student or something, I right? don't know, I don't know. Okay. But I know that she, they're like newlyweds yeah. and the guy, the husband's always gone. Yeah. And everything that he does, he's like, this is Japanese culture. And she's like, oh, then I guess it's okay. okay. <laughs> like, I just, it's fun and yeah, just a stupid little trope. And I like that one a lot. How did you initially find Echi Manga? Like in your child, like how did you find like that was a thing? Uh, my first manga ever that I found at Walmart was Tokyo Mew Mew. And as a child, this is not good. I do not condone this. But as a child, I would like look up Ichigo pictures and then like porn would eventually come up. Of course, rule of 34. Of course, yeah. Yep. As an adult, it's okay, but I feel bad for little me, but, yeah. and that's probably my first, also, what was it, like, I liked Sergeant Frog as a kid, and when I would Google it, like, Yaoi manga would, like, come up. Of Sergeant Frog? Of them humanized, sometimes not humanized, but you're queen of disingenuity, so I don't want to hear anything from you. <laughs> I don't know if I want to imagine, like, Sergeant Frog fucking... Well, then more for me! <laughs> you're welcome to have it, you. I did watch your YouTube, Thank and you. I did notice that you said your hobbies were cooking as well as skincare. Oh. So, what is like a dish that you like specialize in cooking, or what type of food do you mm. like cooking at home? How often do you cook? Oh. And what is your skincare routine? Because I can see, I see that face. Yeah, I, you give have me your way skin. better skin I'm than like me. Rip I'm your like... skin off, and I'm gonna not in a creepy. I'm not into that. I like horror, it's how horror, but I don't like that. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, dish I'm best at is probably anything baking related, like okay. sweets. I like making sweets for like my fans and then bringing them to events. Uh -huh. um, I'm also vegan, so in that sorry. <laughs> and so I have to cook pretty much all of my meals. Um, what do I cook the most? I guess like stir fry vegetables and uh -huh. miso soup, pickled vegetables and rice. I guess that's my staple. That's what I had for breakfast. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sukimono. Sukimono. Yeah. Oh God, I love sukimono. <laughs> Shit, give me some of that. I'll, I'll, make, you some, some I'll of make you some. I'll make you some. I'll make you some. And what, where, what is your skincare routine? I've honestly right. been thinking about that like every day. I like I I've been thinking about like asking you that. Like I don't know why. It's that that's the number one question. Like I was thinking initially like, especially of course like what's it like in the AV industry. But then like the first, second, like for me, this is for me. This is my question. <laughs> What is your skincare routine, Joy? Oh. Do fuck it. <laughs> it's okay, people call me Joy Sign anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Like the nurse from Pokemon. Joy. Oh yeah. Joy. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's the rarest nickname. This is rare. Oh yeah. yeah they, they people pride themselves on what they call me. <laughs> they take apart my name and they're like Love Chan, Joy Chan, Jun Chan. Jun look okay, like I'm gonna decide before you think. <laughs> do you know do you remember that song like in the early 2010s? It's like la 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 love and joy Initially I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw your name, I I did think it was fake. Like just because I was like the whole time I was thinking it's like la 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 love and joy. Oh no, I get asked like, is that from The Simpsons? But I wasn't allowed to watch Simpsons as a kid. So I'm like, there's a guy named Lovejoy, and then <laughs> Japanese fans are like, is that from the Atlantic? And I was like, how many Lovejoys are oh, there? Yeah, I know. I, Titanic, sorry, Titanic. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. I'm sorry again. I did not. A, you know, I did. Not, I was a, pretty surprised initially. <laughs> but yeah, I did find out later that Maylin's was like, yeah, my first grade teacher was Love. Like the last name was Lovejoy, and I'm like, what? There's a lot of us. <laughs> uh, yeah. I have an I'll army. Take the title. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. An army of Lovejoys, just like <laughs> come and baby, and um, figuratively not. Just kidding. <laughs> Skincare. Skincare. Is, is just, <laughs> but it might, like what I'll say is like generic. Like it's what you already know. No. And yeah. I don't know, June. Drink lots of water. Uh, okay, yeah. Don't eat crap. I'm vegan, so even though oh, I'm that's true. chubby, my I can have decent, somewhat decent skin. Um, I use a lot of face masks, and if 
you'd like. Um, may may Lin, may I have the bag? Oh my god. This one. Uh, no, that's my bag. Uh, the blue one, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I use a lot of different products, but I thought instead of just saying them, I yeah. like give them as you. Oh my the god! Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, what so, the hell? <laughs> so here you are. Oh my god! Can I look at them? Yeah, you can look at it. Is it's it not like everything? Is it like a? Do you have like a morning and like night routine? I did the, I do the exact same thing except us. Uh, Sunscreen is during the morning. Yeah, because I love the nighttime. Yeah, but pretty much I just get recommendations from on set by makeup artists. Oh my god, that or would like do other it. Actors. Yeah, so that would do it. I, I never did my makeup before joining the industry. Mm -hmm. But you sometimes you have to do it yourself. Like they don't call a makeup artist. Yeah. So I started just like studying what other women did. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so awesome. Oh my god, I something that we all use Ooh, pretty much bad. all. It's not expensive at all. It's. Minon, I guess. Minon? Oh! And it's just a spray, like you can just spray it on. It's, it's just like hydrated. a spray on lotion. Yeah, exactly. And okay. you can put it on top of your makeup or... Really? Yeah, like even... Uh, I don't like live stream with makeup on because I do it right before I go to bed. Mm -hmm. But I'll just like spray this on and then start streaming. Mm -hmm. And it gives you kind of like a nice sheen. And like, oh god, you're glowing. And I'm like... Hell yeah. Well, cool. I wonder why. I have Minon no spray. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I never actually knew you could put this on when you have makeup on your yeah, face. Yeah, I, I actually put it on like before coming here too. Oh my god, no wonder your skin is just glowing. No, your skin looks way better no, than my god. <laughs> We're both Americans. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and then you just face masks. Oh, these look the best. Yeah, these really? are Korean, Korean face masks. I've never met NJ Care. I don't, I, but this is the, I've already used this brand for maybe two years now. Jeez. This is my favorite one. The... Arbutin essence mask. Yeah, this is. I love this. Scent. <laughs> I don't. I don't like. I just use them all and then like see the um, effects. Yeah. So I'm not a skincare channel, a porn channel, like... but. No. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what I use. Okay. Yeah. Then do you like? Do they like recommend like these brands to you at like oh. say like the makeup artists do? They'll use it and I'm like, oh, what's this? And they're like, oh, this is this. And um, after like. Typically what happens is I just take a photo and then I, the next day I look at my skin and if it's not like broken out or if it looks really nice I'm like, oh it was because I used that yeah. and I've kind of narrowed it down to the same products and I also have freckles, um, yeah. red hair and there's one that like pretty much removed all of my freckles You don't have freckles so maybe you don't have to use it I have like a little bit, like baby bit, <laughs> like, like, but not like I, I have like all over my face and it's not very appealing to Japanese people. Really? No, they like like white, white oh, skin. Oh, yeah. But I think it's cute. Too. I think freckles are cute too, but <laughs> doesn't matter what we like. <laughs> it's just the audience. <laughs> so there's this lab yes. that erased all of my freckles. Oh my god, I have you seen this? this? Yeah, yeah, I have. Oh my god. It was like yeah. a top selling product, but it actually works for me, so I can recommend it. This, yes. this is not sponsored. Yeah, it's like, sponsored. <laughs> no. <laughs> But everything else that they had did not work for me. Okay. Oh, this is uh, a t-shirt. <gasps> oh! You can throw it away. <laughs> I thought maybe yes. you could like wear it at home. Or I, I don't of course know. I'm okay. going to. Jesus Christ. I was, oh my God, I actually really like the artist who's oh, done your stuff. I love the artist, yeah. Yeah, it's like, that's why when I saw you were selling shirts, I'm like, I'm going to buy it. He one. made an erotic manga of me. Oh my, what? Yeah, we're really? It's releasing next week, yeah. Oh right, next month. Really? It, it, yeah. uh, so you're gonna sell it as well? I'll sell it as well. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm but so, I love this artist. So. I'm, I'm gonna buy that. You know, I'll just so. send it to you. Yeah. <laughs> well, everybody. <laughs> I'm writing the English uh, translation. Jesus, that's so like, so how are you? Okay, just another like, I know I'm, this is like all over the place. Sorry. How did you like, <laughs> no, don't, don't. <laughs> so what is like, um, how did you learn kanji and everything like that? Um, I mean, but again, like all the work environments that I've worked in, no one spoke English, so yeah. I kind of had to, like okay. sink or swim. And I think anyone, like if you throw someone in the deep end, like they have to learn. And also I was treated really badly in my last company, mm -hmm. and I thought like, I didn't really, it didn't register me to me that everyone was just an asshole. I was like, oh, there must be something wrong with me. So I would go home and just like study religiously yeah. while crying and just eating like, like you sons mono. of bitches, I'll shoot you. No, no, I was more like, I'm so sorry that I'm just some like... <laughs> terrible American woman no. who can't speak Japanese. So I just studied like, it's not a fun advice and everyone comes to my like channel and they're like, how do I learn Japanese? And I'm like, you have to suffer and you have to put in the work. You have to sacrifice yeah. your fucking mental health. There's no easy route, so. Jesus, I didn't like, thank you again. No, I'm, like, no I'm holding this and I was like, this is the best gift. I had one more, and it just didn't, it didn't arrive on time. Oh my God, thank you. This is like, especially the shirt. <laughs> I'm glad. I was so nervous. If you check my official Discord, I didn't mention your name, but I was like, is it offensive to give someone skin? No, I'm like, asking about yeah, it. Yeah, I was like, is she gonna think that I think her skin is bad? No. Like, they're like, no, no, you're fine. No, you're good. I okay, love thank it. You, thank you. Okay, also, it's just more. Do you love Pokemon? Obviously. I love Pokemon. You can read 
every single Pokemon. Oh yeah, this is okay. Yeah. What's your favorite Pokemon? Maybe Eevee. I'm gonna. Oh, that's I'm, Eevee. Yeah, I know. Eevee. That's Eevee. I'm, Eevee. I'm a pleb. I'm not gonna lie. I no, played, I like yeah. Pokemon as a kid, okay. and uh, I watched it, of course. Okay. But I would not say I, you know, personally. It's okay. Am a fan. A new game's coming out. You have a chance. Oh my! Two so, new games are coming out. Really? The remake of Diamond and Pearl, and then like Pokemon Legends or like Arceus, kind of. I played the newest one, but I was just like, oh, it's okay. I didn't like Sword and Shield. You're yeah. okay. Okay. <laughs> what? Like what? I guess this is gonna be sound really stupid. What mm -hmm. like really? put you into an obsession with Pokemon anyway. Oh god, but you <laughs> unlocked the tragic backstory. Oh, Jesus. Um, my parents divorced before I was born. Okay. And I could only visit my dad once a week. Mm -hmm. And every time I visited him, we would go buy these like tops Pokemon cards together and try it's like not battling Pokemon cards, just like pictures of the Pokemon and then like information on the back. And we would clear that and like so Pokemon equaled my dad. Yeah. Aww. And so like I just grew up with Pokemon and before I could even read I would like sit on my dad's lap and he's like, Okay, which one do you he didn't give a shit about Pokemon. He's just like, Do you want Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander? And I'm like, Bulbasaur <laughs> So I just grew up with it and every time my dad would like go to Japan or something, he would bring back just a bunch of Pokemon goods and it would be Pokemon that like I hadn't seen before. Um, it was in like a time before internet. Yeah. Or me having access to the internet. I'm like, oh my god, who is this blue Pikachu? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Meryl? I don't know. Aww. So. Okay, then you just like started especially memorizing it. And just... Oh, for knowing the Japanese names? Yeah. Oh, uh, because it's a good study material. I don't know, like turning your... I know I said suffering is the best studying, but if you... <laughs> If you change all of the settings of your games into Japanese, especially games like Pokemon, they will have like furigana, like the how you read the kanji. Mm -hmm. So that's probably one of the best study material that I can that helped me, because I like Pokemon, and I wanted to like play the game. But if I played in English, I'm just dicking around. But if yeah. I said it in Japanese, it's studying. Hey. Wow! <laughs> so it's a good use of my time. Yeah. So you stream. What do you usually do while you stream? I have two. I have four variations. I have an English gaming. English casual talk and then Japanese gaming, Japanese casual talk. And I'd stream for about maybe two to three hours each time. And then is there anything more you like, do you want to like become as a like with streaming? Like do you want to move on to like, playing Pokemon games or mm -hmm. playing games with any other games? <laughs> You're so Game. cute. No, <laughs> games. games. <laughs> I, well, I play Monster Hunter a lot with my fans. Mm -hmm. So that's. That's You're a big Monster Hunter. Fan. I love Monster Hunter. Yeah. I'm really bad at it, but I really love it. Uh, is it just like the capture? Oh, it's because it's kind of similar to Pokemon, right? It is kind of similar. You kill them, but. Um, huh. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I like multiplayer games, and like a lot of times. Like with JV stuff, you can't, you, I mean, as much interaction as you can possibly have with them is maybe going to like a sign of it. But mm -hmm. I really like being able to like hang out with my fans in a non erotic setting because YouTube yeah. will ban me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they even say, like, oh, it's really nice to like be able to watch your porn and then like hang out with you casually afterwards. Or like after the stream, I'm going to jerk off to you. But right now we're playing video games and I, I like that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, people come into the chat and there's a nice way of saying it in Japanese, like, I always watch your porn. That won't get me banned. Yeah. Like, it's a mostly when you're not the most. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> like, thanks. thanks. Thanks for that. <laughs> but I have to split. I used to do them at the same time and it was so chaotic and mm -hmm. not fun for anyone. And I would have like a headache afterwards. So yeah. I just split all of them. But even that is like a logistic nightmare. Yeah, I can imagine. Is there like anything with your YouTube or Twitch that you want to like grow into something or do mm -hmm. full time? Like, do her main make your main focus or anything like what direction do you want to take oh. your kind of career online i want to do i like interviewing style stuff and i like showing sides of japan that maybe like i feel like even if the people are fans of like anime or like japan in general like they have like this like super i don't know like white knightish idea of japan like all japanese women are pure and wonderful and i'm just like and then if like a Japanese woman's like, no, I'm kinky as hell, like they don't accept it. They're like, no, 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 that's Western influence. So I like really showing like I, from actually next month, I will start showing um, like there's a place called a Boar Cafe. Um, like, <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm, I'm going there and uh, just, just a bunch of like BDSM clubs and like interviewing the cast, the staff and then showing like I could go to Tokyo Tower, but I want to go to the Boar Cafe. So yeah, that's but it's the pandemic right now. So I'm trying to like hold off mm -hmm. and then a non-erotic thing that I'm starting soon is like working with cat shelters in Japan. Um, oh, I love cats. Yeah. Um, I hate pet shops, so yeah. But I'm, I want to promote cat shelters and just do like a very wholesome series along with my like kind of erotic series as well. 
but just anything that I want to like bring awareness to or something that I'm interested in that I want more people know, to know about work on my channel. I do like gaming, but I feel like a lot of channels already focus on gaming. I'm not very good unless it's Pokemon, and even then I'm not competitive. I'm just like, oh, cute. Yeah. Pikachu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I like Japan. I can speak good enough Japanese so I can interview people. So I'd like to continue doing okay. what I'm doing now. What is like, as a side thing, is there any Japanese AV actress mm -hmm. that you especially look up to? Oh, that's a good question. Not really, but I don't say that in a negative way. Yeah. It's just I don't like a way a lot. Hmm? I would rather become like a bridge, like because I can speak English and interview those actresses and share their story. But so far, the Japanese AV industry, they don't really like to focus on foreign fans. Yeah. Because they think like everyone just pirates. So like we don't even need to put any money advertising to them. Okay. So actresses so far haven't really focused on foreign fans at all yeah so I don't really look up to anyone in the industry but I do have a lot of friends yeah and I don't want to mimic anyone's style yeah um, but I would like to promote them like mm -hmm. and show them that there is an interest outside of Japan yeah de um, there definitely is there definitely is but please stop pirating yeah <laughs> <laughs> what is your ultimate goal for the AV industry like what, what would be a top moment that you'd be like I, I made it like I did oh. what I want I'd like to become a legend, not in the sense, erotic legend would be nice, but not everyone can like jerk off to like a chubby American girl, which I get. But like, again, like the bridge, I would like to be able to share more Japanese eroticism in English for everyone to consume. And this, like the main focus wouldn't be on me, but kind of, again, if I could become a legend as like the bridge or connection to foreign audiences with the content that they want that hasn't been available in English thus far, that would probably be like, oh, I've made it. Be nice. It would be nice to like, I don't know, have like uh, more shows and have more content. But everything I do right now, I do myself, so I don't have any help. Yeah. So my hands, I have so much that I can do in a day by myself. Yeah. So just, just wait. <laughs> well, if you want to ever collab, June, I'm here. Thank you. Of you want to go to the War Cafe? You know I do. <laughs> you know I do. I it's, said I heard you a, said I'm like I'm interested. It's a giant uh, shamu. Like what is it? Uh, what is that? Sea orca? orca yeah. Orca whale. And they've like cut a hole in it and they fill it with goop. Oh my god. And you go in its stomach. It's like you're like reverse birth. Yes. Oh, okay. And, but and you have to go work five up. times before they'll close it on you. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a point card too. Jeez. <laughs> they don't list the address. You have to follow them from the station. So. This is like you gotta get bored, but you gotta do it our way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the board cafe. Okay. okay. Final question. Okay. Final question. Okay, and this is like a, from a previous conversation we were having. Okay. okay. So, you like old men. Oh, I love old men. How old are we talking, June? I don't. I don't know. I don't have. A, I got asked this question last night from a Japanese fan. I. I on the other hand, I would say that younger I cannot do. I'm 25 and I probably would not date anyone younger than 25 or 23 or something. Okay. Yeah, but old dude. I like old dudes. How old? I don't, I don't know. I don't have like, like an... Uh, 90 and wrinkly and oh, just... Oh, no. <laughs> not like a sugar baby thing where I'm like, how much you got in your wallet, baby? But <laughs> no. like, like a dandy old dude. Like, I, Zatch Bell's Dr. Riddle. Like... You don't know who that is? He's like the I, hottest character in the series. I'm gonna Google this. Please! Uh, I'm gonna Google He's this so right hot. now. And he has a character, you could cosplay his, uh, his like superhero it's called Big Boing. And she's just, her superpower <laughs> is smelling like lavender and she has huge tits. I Dude. can't believe you don't know this. <laughs> Dr. Riddle. This is so hot! As a oh my god, <laughs> he's like 70! <laughs> and he's so smart, and as a kid, I printed out tons of photos of him and like put it in my little binder and like went to school with it. No one at, like, no one gave a shit. Cause so you're like a gilf, kind of. I'm after those granddaddies. Oh my god, <laughs> this is the first for me. I've never <laughs> actually met anybody who... He's a healthy, smart, agile old dude. Like, I'm not looking for a wheelchair boy. So fuck gilfs. Just go yeah. gilfs, hand them I'm, over. I'm, <laughs> Dilsa for the commoners, oh. I'm <laughs> above and beyond. Oh my god. No. <laughs> he can walk. <laughs> he can walk? What a standard <laughs> He's a very smart, educated man, Sydney. <laughs> oh He's had a fulfilling life. <laughs> oh god. And now he has a young pupil to tutor in many ways. That's what I wrote in my fan fiction. <laughs> So what would you ever do like a gilf like porn then or like Oh I got offers for it. They were just like pandemic so until they get vaccinated hands off. But oh. I don't know cuz like those films are like 
old dude who's just like, uh, and like yeah. you take care of them and wash their body. Like that's not good. I'm agile. He's yeah. Got, he's got to walk around. Yeah. He's, he's got to be a, a plump, plump, <laughs> maybe not plump, like plump, a youthful, youthful, strong, youthful, strong gill. I want a youthful gill. <laughs> God. It's, I like gray hair. I think yeah. that's it. <laughs> well, thank you, Jude. Thank you. Thank you thank for you. Uh, coming on camera and talking about the industry and also getting to know you thank as you well. Oh, no, thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you for the skincare. Oh, thank, oh, thank you, of course. For my, I'm excited great. to have like glowing skin, this, like <laughs> luminous. You have better luminous. skin than me. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, thank you for coming and talking. I am excited for our future. Our board date. Yeah, our Jesus. board date oh on, my God. on the right. On the salmon <laughs> float. <laughs> and I'm looking, yeah, I'm looking forward to no, seeing you grow. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And I will see everybody. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye! Check out Joey. Check out. <laughs> check out June's wonderful media with these her usernames are right oh, here below twitter instagram <laughs> twitch i don't use twitch i have a twitch account or instagram <laughs> <laughs> twice. youtube oh, thank, you. <laughs> thank, you. thank you but yes thank you guys and bye, bye. <laughs> june asked me if possible if i could sign my autograph with her and take some polaroid pictures for a giveaway on her twitter if you want to win any of these items, please check out her Twitter.